Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Wesson and today I'm going to be showing you my iPhone X collection video. So I did one like this for my iPhone 7 in the past. Um, I'm going to link it in the first uh, link in the description so you can go check it out. But I'm going to be doing a new one for my iPhone X. Um, I got this phone, I want to say like five months ago. So this is what I've gotten so far. I don't think I'm done collecting uh, phone cases, but for now, this is what I have. And I'm not planning on buying any new ones soon. So yeah, these are what I have. Um, so I'm just going to show you which phone I have. This is the one I have right now. So this is my phone. Um, it's just a plain white um, iPhone 10. So it's not the 10s or anything, it's just the normal um, 10. So yeah, this is my phone and these are my phone cases and I'm going to show you guys each one of them one by one and I'm also going to put the pricing and the original listing if I can find it. Um, and I'm also going to try to link either their actual links in the description or ones that are really really similar. So yeah, keep watching. Okay, so the first phone case that I ever got was this one right here, and it's just this marble phone case. It's white and has, like, purplish detailing on it. It's really cool. Um, it's a matte material, and it's also TPU, so it's, like, bendy and stuff. But um, the sides are meant to be clear. When I first got them, when I first got this case, it was clear, but now it's just, like, this yellowy ugly color but it doesn't really matter because it doesn't show that much and I don't really mind it um but yeah this is what it looks like let me show you what it looks like on my phone so I turned off my phone just to show you guys but um this is what it looks like in the front so it's not so protective but there's still kind of like a lip coming up um but it's also really protective on the sides and the back just looks like this all the buttons are covered up except for the mute switch and the bottom part here so I just think it's really cool and feels really nice on your phone it's not very thick so you still get to feel like your phone is really really thin in your hands the next phone case that I got was actually this one right here and it's a coach um, X Lena case and it just says not perfect always me on it which is like kind of her slogan when it comes to like all of her designs with coach um if you guys know me i'm a huge selenator so my friend got this for me for my birthday and i was so happy because this is actually really expensive but it's also like from someone that i admire a lot and it has a message that's so important i feel that everybody should always think this like no one's ever perfect but you should always be yourself and it's just great um, the only downside to this phone case is that it's really unprotective. Like, a lot of your phone is exposed and there's absolutely no lip to this cover. Um, it's really, like, leveled out with the screen, which really gives it zero protection when it falls. Um, so if you're going to put this case on, I suggest that you have a screen protector. I used to have one, but it broke, so I took it off and I haven't gone back to Apple to put a new one. But yeah, anyways, it's a leather case and I like it, but I don't wear it as much because I'm scared I'm going to drop my phone and shatter it. So yeah. The next one I have is this reflective one here. It's a blue reflective case with a tiny little heart in the middle. Here you guys are in the camera. And yeah, again, it's not that bad when it comes to protection. Like there's still a tiny lip. But it is covering like every other aspect of your phone. So I don't really see it as like super protective, but it's not like it's not like the other case which I just showed where there's like zero protection. But it's still cute. So the other case I have is this one right here, and it's just this spirited away slash studio ghibli character case and I really really love this because my favorite movie as a child was Spirited Away. And it has like a lot of the characters from there like um, you guys can see for yourselves. But yeah, it's super, super cute. I love this case. I think it's so like different and cute and out there. And um, 
I, I just really like it. And the protection is kind of like the other one that I just showed, where like the lip isn't really that good, but it's still super, super cute. Again, if you want this phone case, I suggest that you put a screen protector on it. But um, other than that, the design is just so adorable. And okay, so here's the other one that I have. And it's just this um, glossy black case with a space theme to it. I think it's really cool. And it's got like pink detailing with some blue and purple. It's just this really calm case, I feel. And it looks really nice. Um, again, it's like this glossy material, which I don't really have in any other case other than the reflective one. But they're both super different at the same time. Like, they're both glossy, but this one isn't reflective. Um, yeah, it's just really, really cute. Um, there isn't much else to say about it, but yeah. Here's the front. This next case that I'm going to show you guys is actually my favorite out of all of them. And it's just this one right here. It's a dynamic case. Um, it's clear and it has little red hearts in it. As you can see. And it's so cute. I'm so glad that I found this because it's actually not a um, one of those snap-on cases. It's actually like... A rubbery kind of out here like it has a rubbery outline um, but this part is hard so I mean you kind of have to expect that with any dynamic case because how are they gonna fit the water and like the little glittery things but yeah it's just so cute and it's actually really protective surprisingly um, I think this one is the most protective I've, I have out of all of my phone cases because it's so bulky at the same time and also I found this pop socket which matches the case so well like look at that it's white with hearts and my phone is white and the case has had red hearts on it so it's such a perfect fit and it looks so cute so yeah okay, so the next case I have is this one right here and it just looks like this it's an ombre phone case it is clear. It doesn't look clear, but it is. And it's just got pink to orange with little leaves on it. And this one was from Forever 21, actually. So, um, you can, I think you can still find it in store. I'm not sure. But the sides are clear and the design is on the back. And this is what the protection looks like in the front. And yeah. the last phone case I have, I just got yesterday in the mail. And this is what it looks like. I got this from Wish, and it's a corduroy phone case. Like, how cool is that, you guys? I've never seen this before, and I thought it was so different and so cool. Um, I actually got me this color and my mom a red reddish color. So it's super cute. It's really, like, fun to hold and touch. It's, like such a weird texture for a phone case like I would have never thought to have a corduroy phone case um it's the same design as the apple phone cases where the bottom here is exposed but the rest is all covered up but I mean I don't mind it I'm not really looking for much protection from this case but um that being said it still does has quite a bit of a lip um especially right here in the corner which I think is a defect I don't know if you guys can really tell over there, but right here, there's like a huge bump of excess material, I guess. It looks a little weird, but I mean, I'm not complaining considering this phone was this phone case was super cheap. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below which one was your favorite phone case, and also how many phone cases you have in your collection. So I hope to see you on my next video, which is going to be a school supply video. And yeah, hope you have a beautiful day, and don't forget to stay smiling. Love you guys. Bye.